Conditional statements give us the power to make decisions in our program. But so far, we've only seen a glimpse of the capabilities that we have with them. In this video, we'll be learning all about ELIF statements. They give us the ability to run separate blocks of code depending on the condition. They are also known as ELSE IF statements. Now, how they work? As we saw in the previous video, conditional statements give us the ability to make decisions within our program. However, how would we handle making multiple decisions? In Python, we use the ELIF statement to declare another decision based on a given condition. ELIF statements must be associated with an IF statement, meaning that you cannot create an ELIF without any IF. Python works in top to bottom order. So it checks the first IF statement. If that statement is false, it continues to the first ELIF statement and checks that condition. If that condition returns false as well, it continues to the next conditional statement until there are no more to check. However, once a single conditional statement returns true, all other conditionals are skipped, even if they are true. It works so that the first conditional to return true is the only block of code that runs. Creating an ELIF statement is identical to an IF statement. With one difference, you use the ELIF keyword instead. You are able to have multiple conditions for each ELIF as well. So let's try it. Run that cell. Notice that the output is x is less. It checked the initial if statement, but since that returned false, it moved to an ELIF conditional statement. That statement returned true, and the block of code within it ran. Now we can check multiple ELIF conditions. Having the ability to write multiple decisions based on a single variable is a necessity, which is why ELIF statements were built. Take the following code, for instance. Go ahead and run that cell. The resulting output is equal. The first IF and ELIF statements both returned false but the second ELIF statement returned true, which is why the block of code run. You can have as many ELIF as you want, but they must be associated with an IF statement. Please note that within the conditional we perform addition, but we wrap it within parentheses so that it executes the mass operation first. We've gone over how Python uses indentation to separate blocks of code. So far, we've only seen one indentation level. But what if we added an if statement within an if statement? Let's go ahead and run that cell. The output results in x is equal to z. To break it down, the initial if statement returns false, and the next if statement returns true. So it runs that block. Now, inside of that block, is another conditional statement. So it checks the first if statement, which returns true, and runs the block of code inside that. Now some words about if statements versus elif statements. A major difference that you'll need to understand going forward is the use for elif statements against using multiple if statements. All elif statements are connected to one original if statement, so that once a single conditional is true, the rest do not run. Let's see an example. Go ahead and run that cell. Notice that the resulting output is both print statements here. This is due in part to having two if statements. These if statements are not related to each other. They are separate conditional statements, whereas an a if is always connected to an if. Let's run another example. Notice that the output here is only the x is less and does not include the second print statement. That's because an a if is attached to an if statement.